Epaphroditus. It is so good to reconnect with you. So much has gone on since we last talked. Part of this time has been sent back porch in the hammock in the PJs. And part of the time has been spent kind of going crazy. So background check. All right, at the post office, right as they close, submitted my visa documents. Pray that they are accepted. God is good. Well, sometimes packing's hard. You gotta just, you know, open your bag, see what fits in there, ask for advice from the kitty. What do you think, Wilson? Exactly, hard decisions to be made today. Visa applications. Doing the things that have to be done to get ready for me to go to Thailand. But let me share a story of encouragement with you um, from kind of what God's been teaching me from his word. God's word reads this in, in, the, in the book of Mark chapter 14. It was now two days before the Passover and the Feast of Unleavened Bread. See, the, the chief priests and the Pharisees and the scribes were, were seeking for a way to arrest him by stealth and kill him. For they said, not during the feast, at least there would be an uproar from the people. And while he was at Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came with an alabaster flask of ointment, the pure nard, very expensive. And she broke it. And she poured it over his head. And there were some who said to themselves indignantly, why was the ointment wasted like that? Th this ointment could have been sold for more than 300 denarii and given to the poor. And Jesus responded to them. Listen to what he says. Jesus responded and he said, leave her alone. Why do you trouble her? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will always have with you. And whenever you want, you can do good to them, but you will not always have me. She has done what she could. And she has anointed my body beforehand for burial. This story is such an encouragement to me. You see what he does? Jesus affirms the intrinsic, sacrificial, bold gift of this woman who comes in a time in his life when he's kind of on the wire here, we know that he's coming to Jerusalem, and it's at the end of the book of Mark, and if you know anything about the Gospels, you know that as the story progresses, you get towards Jerusalem and towards the death of Christ. Jesus knew this. He knew that his days were numbered. He knew the thoughts of the Pharisees. And we know from the Scripture that they were plotting to kill him, plotting to arrest him. The story continues and shows how he responds to a time of, of waiting. There's a lesson here for me that I've been encouraged by, that even when Jesus was on the wire, when he was in a situation where he could have stressed out, could have been freaking out, could have been um, not trusting God the Father, he chose instead to respect other people around him. He chose instead to share meals with people. Can you imagine the culmination of a life of Jesus on earth is sharing a meal with those who loved him and affirming their sacrifice to him? Isn't that beautiful that Jesus would want to share a meal with people even that would betray him, people that would be indignant before him, people even that would stealthily try to arrest him? He affirms the sacrificial gift, and, and that's what I've been trying to do during this time, is use my time well as I prepare for my journey to Thailand and my move there, is to pre prepare well, offer my intrinsic gift to God as this woman did with this expensive ointment. See, she recognizes death. And as I go into this season of my life, I am memorizing this portion of Scripture, trying to declare His death, declare His resurrection, declare that the gospel is still true, and that even in times of, of difficult waiting, as you know, some of my plans have changed, that God is still good, and that He is still in control, and even when He was on the wire, even when He chose to be in a time pinch, He did that for us. He went to the cross for us. He went to a time of rushing and plotting for us. And so it is only my pleasure to try to use this time the best I can to give my bold, intrinsic, and sacrificial gift to him. So I encourage you, Epaphroditus, you know, during this time, I don't know what's going on in your life, how crazy it is right now exactly, okay? But what's your intrinsic gift? What's that thing that you can offer to Jesus during this time? Maybe you need to take some time to pray about that. Take some time to ask Jesus, look, I'm busy. Things are crazy right now. There's so many unknowns. But here's the thing I'm going to do. So I'm going to come and spend some time at your feet. Come and declare that your death has happened. Resurrection has happened too. And so I just wanted to give that encouragement to, to you, Epaphroditus, as I prepare, as you prepare for greater obedience. Um, I just wanted to just uh, kind of give you a, a quick update about kind of what, what's going on here. 
with my um, journey to Thailand. So here, here's the deal. So some plans have changed, but in the next week, I'm hoping to actually be able to be on a plane out of the country. Would you, like, could you just pray for that? Would you pray that um, everything would go through with the embassy, everything would go through with my flights, and that um, God's will would be done? That's really what I want, and, and I really think that it is his will for me to be in Thailand in the next week. Would you pray for that with me? And as I am drawn to the wire, would you pray that I would continue to approach Jesus and just share a meal with him, as he did. Spend time in his presence. Thank you for your prayers, Epaphroditus. Be encouraged by the word of God, and I hope that it would encourage you, it would challenge you, and that you would take some time to memorize some of the word of God too, so that you can make it through these kind of crazy times, okay? People might be kind of jealous of you, they might be kind of indignant of you, but you offering, offering up your gift there's awesome promises. Just check out the next couple of verses in Mark chapter 14 to see what kind of promises those are to us and what kind of Jesus we serve, no matter how crazy the times are. Thank you so much for following along with me in this journey. Subscribe if you want more monthly YouTube videos or check out the description for a link to my blog where you can follow for weekly written updates. I'll see you in about this much more time. And Paphroditus, you're the best.